Hey, in this video series, we are going to apply convoluted neural networks to the CIFAR 10 dataset. In this first video, we are going to decode the dataset and see what it consists of. So let's get started. The dataset along with all the files that we work with in this series is linked in the description below. Okay, so the files that we have inside the data folder are encoded. So we need to decode them before we can use them for machine learning. To do that, we'll create some helper functions. These helper functions have been included in this file called helper.py. First, we'll import some libraries, pickle to decode the data, numpy, np underscore utils to make one hot vectors, and matplotlib to plot graphs. Then we'll define some constants path to the data, height or width of the image which is 32, the three channels red, green and blue and the number of classes which is 10. Now each file inside the training dataset contains about 10,000 images. So this image badge tells us that and the number of training files which is 5. Here we calculate the total number of training images by multiplying image batch and number of files that are there for the training data. The data set along with all the constants that we talked about are given in this website over here. So feel free to check it out. Okay now, this function here decodes the files. It returns us images and their corresponding labels in the form of a dictionary. The images that we get in this dictionary need to be converted into numpy arrays to make them useful. So we create a function to do that. Here we normalize the image while converting it into a numpy array. Now we need to reshape the image to have three dimensions, channels, height and the width and bring them into correct order using transpose. Load data converts the images and labels into numpy array form. It unpickles the data, gets the raw images from the dictionary, converts the images, and converts the class labels into a numpy array. Get test data here returns images, labels, and the one hot vectors of the labels. This is the function that we'll be using when we are going to perform machine learning on the data. Similarly, we have get train data, which fetches the training data from five files and combines them. We are going to skip this for now, along with the function used to display the images and the function that gets us the get class names. These functions are there in this file called helper.py and it is commented very well. So you can have a look if you want to. Now let's go into the Jupyter Notebook and start decoding the data. First of all, we need to activate our virtual environment in which we have installed TensorFlow and Keras and import the helper functions that we just wrote. We need to get the class names. As you can see, the class names are airplane, automobile, bird cat, deer, frog, dog, horse, ship, and truck. Now let's decode and fetch the training data using a get train data. As you can see, it decodes the five files that I was talking about. Now let's get the testing data and print the size of both the testing and the training data, which is the training set has a size of 50,000 images and the testing set has a size of 10,000 images. Now let's display a few examples from our data set. Get the first nine images from the images and the first nine labels and send it to the plot images function. So here you have it. The images along with their labels have been printed here. That's all for this video. In the next video, we are going to train our own convolutional neural network to predict these labels from the images. All the files that have been used here have been linked in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them below. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel by clicking on the button below.